Hey, what is up? It's Todd, and it is game day. I am in the car with the Wirebuzz team. Team, say what's up? What's up? And we are on our way right now to Tony's studio where we're going to be keynoting day three of five of Business Mastery, and you're going to get the behind the scenes before I go on the stage in this episode of Video Marketing Mastery. Discover how video can help you achieve your sales and marketing goals. It all starts right here in Todd Hartley's Video Marketing Mastery. All right, all right. That sounded to me like a perfect setup for a great episode. You are inside of the vehicle. We got picked up by our main man, Nick, who's picked us up a couple of times to take us to Tony's studio. We did our walkthrough. What did we do? Three, four days ago, we did our walkthrough on the big stage. And this is Tony's Zoom Zilla. It is Zoom Stadium that he built. One of the things I love the most about this is how he pivoted to Prosper in the middle of a pandemic and didn't allow the fact that we couldn't be face to face to limit his ability to impact people's lives, to serve them and help them achieve their goals. Right? And so quickly at the beginning of the pandemic, he pivoted to continue to serve these people. And I know you have too. And that's part of the reason why I'm sure you listen to Video Mastery because we go through these topics about how you sell remotely and do it like a boss. Now, let's peel back the curtain a little bit. Want to go around the room and go around the car. Exactly. We're going to go around the car. And each person is going to give you a little bit of an update on what their role and responsibility is. And let's start off with Wirebuzz's senior producer, Alicia Longo. Alicia, can you give us an update on what your responsibility is? Yes, absolutely. So as Todd mentioned, my name is Alicia. I'm a senior video producer at Wirebuzz. And my main job is to, one, make sure that all travel is booked. Um, So I am the main contact with Team Tony for logistics. Um, And then also I help Todd with his content. So we go through all of his slides. Um, We tweak anything that needs to be tweaked. We add anything that needs to be added, so on and so forth. And basically, I just make sure that things go smoothly that Todd has all of the things that he needs, including his props, so his sales funnel and his red flags. And yeah, I'm also here to eat a lot of really great food and have fun. (laughs) We sure do. I mean, we've been on like a food tour. We have eaten our way through this city. We're in West Palm Beach, Florida. And by the way, if you haven't been to this city before, drop everything, come out here. It is a phenomenal city with world-class dining everywhere and we make sure to stuff our crew on this trip and we're currently stuffed stuffed, right okay Uh, Alicia if there's one part of the presentation the training that I'm doing tonight on how to sell remotely using the power of video that you're most concerned about me executing properly on the biggest stage in the world what part of the presentation would it be I think the introduction, (laughs) because as well, as soon as you get through that, I know you're good. So as soon as he gets through the intro, the first couple minutes, I'm like, oh, he's golden. So as soon as my, he hits the two minute mark, I'm like, okay, I can kind of relax. (laughs) That's so awesome. That's so true. I mean, she knows me. I really practice my first five minutes, like hardcore this time, considerably less, much more chill than in the past because I know what I'm doing, but The beginning is when your brain is the most nervous, when you're looking at all of those thousands of people. Yeah, even in their Zoom camera presentation, and you've got a whole wall of them in front of you that's 25 feet high, 50 feet wide in front of you, and the same number of faces on the same size screen behind you. It's easy for your brain to forget where you are, and that's where practice comes in. Like the big guy says, repetition is the mother of skill. And I'm a believer. So I get myself into repetition. I actually connected my laptop to the TV in the hotel room so it mirrored exactly the way Tony's setup was because it's a little bit of an unorthodox setup. And uh, let's get nerdy for a second. 
The setup is a large teleprompter that is in the main camera. So I can see all my slides in the main camera. And on the screen right above the cameraman is the next slide. So I practice that in my hotel room like a friggin' boss. Speaking of bosses, Wirebuzz's director of production, Devin Dresbeck is with us. Devin flew in last night from a client shoot. Devin, first, tell me about the shoot you had yesterday and the, or the day before in Houston and how you got here to West Palm. Yeah, Devin here, director of production at Wirebuzz. Yeah, we just came off a shoot for a, a long-term client we've had for, uh, yeah, we've had him for a long time. Great shoot. We were in Houston. It was humid. I left humidity to come to more humidity. <laughs> and you got your hair products dialed. <laughs> your hair products are dialed. Yes, hair is there. Uh, shoot went great. Unfortunately, flying right now is a nightmare for whatever reason, and every flight just seems to be either delayed or canceled. But I'm here and I made it, and I'm happy. Woohoo! We are oh. too. Yeah, we are. So the crew got all back together. We went out for for uh, some restaurant hopping last night because when we get together, we love to good eating, good good eating. eating and good cocktails and just right. living it up. But who was a, um, a boring member of the team last night? Oh, you. You were being responsible. <laughs> yeah. I have a strict rule. It's a 24-hour no drinking before you hit a stage cool, rule. Yeah. So, like, what? I, like the waiter would come up at the first restaurant, and he said, what would you like to drink? And I said, oh, no, I've got a school bus to drive in the morning. <laughs> and then she said, she said, the small school bus or a large school bus? <laughs> Devin, what's your responsibility on this one, and how is this Tony event different for your responsibilities? So traditionally my responsibilities include directing and uh, more DPing, which is director of photography, lighting, setting up, rolling the cameras and stuff for video. Tonight we are going to focus mainly on photography because the first go around I was all about the video, getting the behind the scenes, uh, going through Todd's process, seeing the, the Tony Robbins team and what they got going on. And it's tonight's going to be a little similar, but we're going to focus on photography, get some really, really nice stills that we can use for multiple different, you know, facets of the websites and everything we're working on right now. So I am a photographer for the night and what are you rocking? it's been a while. Uh, I am rocking a Canon 5D Mark III and I got two lenses. I got the 18 to 35 and the traditional, uh, 70 to 200 so there we go nicely done <laughs> so uh, uh you know when we bought that camera it was like the greatest camera ever it's still one of the greatest oh, still photography cameras course, ever yeah. and when i bought the lenses and i saw the lens i was like are you kidding or that much for lenses uh -huh. but when you see the finished images they're phenomenal now speaking of phenomenal my bride wendy hartley Wonderful is with us. Uh, Wendy and I have been together for 22 years. I can officially start saying about 22 yes. years. Wendy, what's your job and responsibility today? Oh, you mean besides travel with your spouse to work week? It's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, Alicia was talking about making sure all the tweaks are fixed. When you tweak your body, I got to make sure you're put back together. Yes. So I'm also his traveling massage therapist. I just got initiated today to his traveling esthetician too. Yes. <laughs> and we just make sure that we all have alignment of fun and celebratory experiences while the team is working and then making sure we're experiencing what this land can provide. Yes, West Palm Beach is absolutely amazing. People are friendly. The city just vibes off just happiness and very abundantly being people. Yes. <laughs> and we're almost there. And I'm so excited. I just, I'm very proud of Todd because it takes so much behind the stage to prep for something like this. And his nerves are amazingly tame. He's very zen like and confident and comfortable. And I'm just could not be more proud. Beautiful. Thank you so much, love. Now, we're pulling up right now to the uh, security gate where we're going to all have to get our IDs. Wendy, mine's in your purse. Thanks, Nick. And we'll just give you some natural sounds so you can kind of have a little bit of this experience. The last time we did this, I forgot my ID, but I was kind of like the uh, star of the moment. Hi. I was kind of the star of the moment, so I was able to get in without my ID. 
frequent traveler here. Okay, so we're pulling in. Love you. Thank you for coming along this journey with us. And we will check in later, maybe after a drink. Let's roll. <laughs>